Avi Ablo here, and I am here with Hello. one of one of the most powerful non-Jewish Zionist supporters. Blush. A powerful, powerful voice of truth online, standing up strong for Israel. Virag Gulash. Now I could pronounce it correctly. Almost. All right. <laughs> we um, we're here visiting Ari. We're here at the cemetery of uh, Gush Etzion. Those of you, uh, you know, Ari lived in Efrat, which is uh, the capital city of the Gush Etzion area, the beautiful Judean hills. Here you go. Beautiful Judean hills with the cemetery behind us. And um, Virag is here visiting, and it just so happens today, today is the day that we got the news that Ari's murderer terrorist animal, he's not an animal, that's insulting the animals, is, um, is convicted today. So a now, bit of justice. Well, what did he get, like a uh, life sentence or what? No punishment yet. Now it was just a conviction, we have to wait to find out about his punishment. Now I wish, we were just talking about this before, I wish he'd be given uh, the death sentence, because that's what terrorists should get. Yeah. But here in Israel, even though, I mean, pe people talk about how Israel has to make a law to give a death sentence. They don't. From what I understand, Israel, oh, there's already a law on the books about giving a death sentence, mm. but it's never implemented. Mm. Um, so but, so I, I, we, I wish Ari's murderer would get the death sentence, because that's what he deserves. It doesn't bring Ari back, but that's what he deserves. Crazy. And we have to wait and see what the, um, what the punishment will be, hopefully life sentence and never be let to see the see the light of day but um so what what about you virag what's what brings you here to israel now bring you here to visit ari and you know we i mean i'll remind uh, people i mean virag and i met because of ari yeah. right because you had you made an event for him in new york and yeah, that's how so i learned about met. you and then we just re did a live in miami so uh, why am I in Israel? Well, it was time to come back. This is my 17th time, but I had... 17th time in Israel! And above, I had not two years when I couldn't come here for personal reasons. I okay. needed some healing space. time and space. Well, now I'm here. And uh, obviously I need to visit Ari because... I just need to visit Ari. That's no way I'm going back without... Yep. Without yep. You need stone. Where do we get stone? Yes. Let's pick one up right here. Here. Okay. Right but over it's, here. Is it, it's Jewish. No, no, it's not off. It's off. It's, off. it's fine. So, uh, Virag was just uh, asking to pick up a stone because those of you familiar with Jewish tradition are unfamiliar when you come and visit someone at the cemetery. Uh, it's practiced to pick up a stone and put one on the grave. It's a way of saying we were here. We're visiting. So, here we are. Yes, for sure. So it starts off, Am Yisrael Chai, right? The, Jew the Jewish nation lives. And then Ari's name, Hashem Yikom Damo, his, uh, his blood should be avenged. And then the names of uh, his parents, Ben Harav Yona, the Gold Chai uh, a son, a husband, a father, a dedicated and loving father who was taken from us, uh, murdered by a uh, horrible human being. And then it gives us a, uh, a pasuk, a sentence from the Torah. Hoi oz kinamer vekal virath vigibor ke'ari. And uh, basically, uh, this is how we are supposed to be as Jews, to be fast and, and, and light and swift and strong. And it's using different animals. And in terms of str strength, it's referring to a, a lion, Ari, which mm -hmm. is what Ari's name was. Ne'echaz Torah, Ari held steadfast to the Torah. Ohev amo artso. He loved his nation and his homeland. V'kidesh shem shamayim b'chayav u'bemoto, right? And uh, he made holy God's name in the way he lived his life and in, in dying, being being murdered as a Jew. 
Uh, and here, especially in the land of Israel, is what we call Kiddush Hashem, and, uh, grat- glorifying God's name. Nilcham al ha'emet, he fought for the truth. Ad neshimato ha'achrona, until his last breath. And then it just gives uh, his death. And um, so that's what we're here. That's all we are here in the beautiful Judean hills that Ari loves so much. Uh, there we go. So it just so happens Virag was going to be coming here today anyway. And it just so happens it is the day with the news that right now everyone is hearing about the conviction of Ari's murderer. Virag, you are... Uh, eloquent and powerful person yourself what what message can you share with us right now wow i'm trying to digest the situation i didn't think i was gonna be even more emotional than i am when i think of ari i don't know i don't think i have a message right now just what do we always say be an ari really I think, you know, like everybody has a role um, towards the higher cause, and by that I mean this Israel is here to stay. And uh, I think oftentimes people underestimate their role in it, like what can, what they can do. They think it's a question of money, it's a question of influencing factor. No, it's, it's everybody can do something for Israel and for the Jewish people. And for Zionism, which for me is, you know, the legitimacy of Israel, so that's my message, that do your role. Be an Ari. Do your part. And I think in, uh, I'll, uh, I'll finish the video so we can, we can have um, some quiet emotional time. But I'll, I think what you're saying is very apropos, uh, and, and especially talking about Ari, with everything going on, going on today, with, the, with, with finally the focus on the growth of anti-Semitism. I don't say the growth of anti-Semitism because it's been growing for years. People have just been ignoring it. Finally, it's getting the attention it deserves, um, and the rally yesterday, yeah. because Ari was about, and this is the message that Ari spreads, that I spread, and that you spread. Even though you're not, even though you're not Jewish, you spread that message to for Jews to be proud Jews, and 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 what what you bring to the table also is no matter what you are, no matter what your identity, be proud of who you are, stand up for for what you represent, learn your history, learn your heritage, be proud of it, stand up to stand stand up for it. And when we say uh, Gibor Kari and everyone be an Ari and be an Ari fold, especially in today's atmosphere and what's going on, take take that seriously. Ari stood up. He stood up for truth, for the Jewish people, for the Torah, for the land of Israel. And a message I tell people is we can't fight anti-Semitism. Right? You can't fight someone's hatred, right? Whether they, they're, they're haters and anti-Semitism exists and it's always going to exist. It's, been, it's existed for thousands of years. But the answer to anti-Semitism, it's not going to solve the hatred. The answer is to strengthen your identity and stand up for who you uh-huh. are. Uh-huh. So thank you for standing up with us. And Ari, we are still standing with you. Your spirit is with us all, and we're keeping your spirit alive, and uh, thanks for helping us from up above. So everybody, be an Ari. Be strong in who you are. Stand up for the truth. Stand up for your identity. And if you don't have the knowledge, learn. Learn. We have thousands of years of knowledge, us Jews. Learn the Torah. I talked to you. We just had this... um, and Ari, we, uh, Ari used to study uh, um, the Talmud every day, mm-hmm. right? The Daf Yomi, yeah. right? Ari started the Shir in our in our synagogue for Daf Yomi. We just had a, a the, the party finishing the, the all of Talmud, and and Ari's name was brought up because he started the Shir there. And uh, the beauty of the Talmud and what's going on is that it doesn't just belong to Orthodox religious Jews. There are non-religious Jews and even some non-Jews out there who are studying the Talmud and getting excited about connecting with the Torah. And that's what it's said. Regardless of how religious you are, it doesn't make a difference. Connect with your heritage. Connect with the Torah. Connect with who you are and who we are. And it strengthens us as a people. And Ari, we're going to keep on learning Torah and spreading Torah and spreading the truth in, in, in your memory as well. 
signing out from the beautiful Judean hills, the ancestral and eternal homeland, folks. Mm -hmm. We are home. We're not going anywhere, no matter what our haters are going to be. And we're all going to stand up and be Aries. Shalom. Shalom. And thank you. Later.